Hey all, hope you are good. Welcome to my channel, Sri Golden Coding. In previous videos, I have set up PySpark in Windows 11. Now let's check whether our PySpark shell is running or not, and also have a look at uh, Spark context view. So let's begin. Okay, so uh, I uh, I have set up the Spark in environment variables. You can have a look in my previous videos where I have set the PySpark in environment variable. Now let's have a look whatever the options are available for a PySpark shell to run. Okay. Okay. Here the first option is hyphen apple master. So here we specify the cluster manager that we want to use. There are various cluster managers such as Mesos, Yarn, Kubernetes and local. Okay. Local bracket star means the number of threads that we want to specify by default star means n n number of third threads will be launched depending on the memory there are some other options uh, such as deploy mode okay then comes the driver memory so driver memory refers to the amount of memory that we are assigning to each thread by default uh, it 1024 mb okay now let's run the PySpark shell, okay. PySpark hyphen hyphen master. You want to run local mode, okay, with three threads and then the driver memory. We are going to specify 2GB. Let's run it, okay. So for I, I, uh, PySpark to run, we have must have Python installed. So in my local, I have 3.8 words installed. So when the PySpark shell will run, launch, it will automatically create a context with name Spark. So my PySpark shell is starting. Okay, as you can see, uh, Spark session has been created with name Spark. Now let's uh, do one thing. Let's read one file. Okay, Spark dot uh, read dot csv and now let's specify the dataset path okay let's copy and paste it here i want it should be read as raw agent dot csv okay Now let's write df dot show. Okay, here you can see. Uh, uh, you can see whatever the information is being present inside my agent dot csv file is being present here. But uh, uh, you can see um, my column names comes as a row. So in order to con uh, in order to get uh, these uh, these as column names and not c1 c2 c3 we have to specify one option as header equal to true now let's write df dot show okay now you can see the column names as column header okay so here you can see the spark index ui is available at this part okay let's copy and paste it at okay here you can see um event timeline okay uh, here you can see only one event is running because in local okay 
in local we have a master and slaves or you can see the driver and executor runs at the same machine okay so here you can see inside executor we have specified three executors okay here you can see number of threads is three disk usage is zero byte and one gb of so we have specified a maximum of two gb and now it is currently using one gb of memory okay you can see only uh, at this time only one driver is running and that is zero okay we can also have a look here okay storage is this must be zero okay stages sql data frame we haven't run anything so in this video i have shown how we can run a pyspark cell in our cmd and now and now we are also launched a spar web context ui which is available at this url at port 4040 so hope you enjoyed the video kindly like and subscribe to my channel have a nice